So today I'm going to can some pot roast in a jar with my Perry canner. I went ahead and I chopped up everything and I got all the ingredients rounded up. And what you need is some roast, or you can use stew meat or whatever you have on hand, and some potatoes, and onions, carrots, garlic, bay leaf, um, thyme, salt, and pepper. The recipe also calls for red wine, but I kind of drank it all and I don't have any more. And then the other thing it calls for is some celery, and I don't have that, so I'm not going to put either one of those in. The recipe says to combine the wine and all of the seasonings and all of the ingredients into one big bowl and mix it up and then fill your jars. Well, I'm not going to follow it exactly like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the seasonings to my meat, mix it up, and then layer the ingredients into the jars just so that way I get all the ingredients evenly throughout the jars. Okay so first of all um, it calls for two teaspoons of salt. And then a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to go ahead and put whatever I feel like is a teaspoon amount in there. Okay. And two teaspoons of dried thyme. Now I'm using the dry, the ground thyme, and it just in my opinion, it is plenty strong, so I'm not going to quite add one teaspoon just because I don't quite care for a really strong thyme taste. Then it calls for two cloves of chopped garlic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Okay, now it is time to fill the jars, and I discovered something really interesting. Um, you know, with the carry canner, they say that you should always use wide mouth jars just because you could fit four in there, because um, the shape of a, a regular mouth and a wide mouth jar are just a little bit different. The wide mouth are just a little bit more narrow and um, so when you try to put four regular mouth jars into here they just don't fit. Well I have discovered that you can fit up to three regular mouth jars along with one wide mouth which is a relief because I am running low on the wide mouth ones. So um, it's pretty cool because you, I can still get four quart jars to fit in there even if I don't have all wide mouth jars. So anyway, um, next you just go ahead and pack the, the ingredients in there evenly among all the jars. Okay, and then you just keep adding the rest of the ingredients. Basically you want everything to be um, packed in there tightly because um, everything will shrink a little bit as it can as it's being canned but you don't want it, it scrunched in there really tight either. So.
Once you get everything added up to the bottom of the neck of the jar, then add a little bay leaf in each one. Okay, so next you add your boiling beef broth up to the bottom of the rim of each jar. Okay, next you want to wipe the rims of your jars with vinegar to remove any of the grease. Go ahead and add your lids and your rings and tighten them down to fingertip tight. Oh no. It looks and smells delicious. So next you just want to add your jars to the canner. Add four cups of water. Close the lid and lock it. Since we have quart jars in here and they are filled with meat, the total processing time is going to be 90 minutes. So you want to push high and then set the time to 90 minutes. Oop. We want to make sure this is on exhaust. And then we push start. <laughs> Did it, did it.